What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so so much for being here. I genuinely appreciate your presence and your energy that we exchange here on the interwebs. For today's video, I'm going to do a couple thrift flips. My birthday is coming up so my hope is that I can create an outfit cute enough to wear my birthday. If not, I'm sure they'll be cute nevertheless. Shout out to all my other Aquarians out there. It's officially Aquarius season baby. So it's our time to thrive and i'm just aquarians all the signs out there the stars are looking right this year so before we get started make sure you give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's get right into the video so some of you may know that i actually have a vintage online shop called slowmo.fash if you don't already go ahead and give me a follow on ig but um i've actually been starting to do rework vintage just like this cropped sweater that i put together i thrifted it and then i cropped it and cinched it at the waist and i'm hoping to do a similar style to this purple flannel right here as you can tell i'm all about the purple la lately your scar taking a nap <laughs> but yeah i've been obsessed with the purple lately i just think it's my power color for right now at least so yes i want to make this either into a two-piece set or use just the bottom for a skirt i also have this pink turtleneck the camera is making it look blue but trust me it's a lot more purple in real life but i also have this pink turtleneck and i was just inspired by early 2000 vibes and i kind of want to crop it and do some bedazzling on here so we'll see let me show you all some of my inspo Yes, I listen to Janae Aiko NPR desk nonstop throughout my day. But yes, so I was scared that like the two piece set would look really like country real fast. But then I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, just these vibes. And like this, oop, this I love. So here's the pink and the purple, which I think is super cute together. Um, so something like that. We'll see what I can throw together. Um, this I was obsessed with. I was like, if I can get this energy somehow into the look, we'll see what I can, we'll see what I can do. But that's the plan for today. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry if this angle is weird, but this is what we're working with. So I just laid out my flannel like so. This one is a size large, if you're wondering. So I'm going to cut above the third button. I feel like it's like the good median point to start. There is a pocket, maybe like right below the pocket, right below it. Yeah, I think that'll be good. This will give about like 12 inches or so for a skirt. So that'll be perfect. Sweet. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, cool. Now we got that under control. Now it's time to make the skirt. I initially wanted to do like how I have this elastic and like make it gather in, but I'm not sure if I like that look. I think I want it more tight. So I think I'm going to cut off the edges and just make it into a more fitted skirt. And then I actually want this side to be the front because I like the clean look of it. Okay, now that we cut out our two pieces of fabric, we have the top and the skirt. I'm actually going to try this on so I know how much of the fabric to cut off. So we have now, and I want to keep the the buttons at least in the back so that like it's easier to like get out and get in. I think this length is perfect, so I'm just gonna like scrunch the sides like so, and then I'm gonna pin it, and then these are gonna be the edges that I cut off. Also, want to note that when I do cut, I'm going to go inwards and cut in more of like a rounder shape so that it fits the body. So that it fits the body. It fits the body. It fits the... Okay, anyway, you know what I mean. Let's get to it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. So, I... When I tried it on, I realized that it fit on these sides, so I pinned those two. So now I'm going to start cutting. Again, I'm going to start inward and then round it out and come back in. Go about an inch out from where I pinned, just so that there's... Um, leeway and then also because i'm going to sew it on the inside so it's going to be fabric that's inverted if that makes any sense so yes i'm going to start cutting an inch away from this one so it's like this red line again i should have said this in the beginning sorry i know y'all can't see me but i am in no way a professional this is just how I do it. If y'all like it, try it for yourself. I am a new, I'm new to the sewing game. So these are my methods. And as I get better, the methods will get better. So, but this is what I'm working with now. <laughs> okay, so we have the skirt cut out basically. And now what we need to do is invert the fabric. So you take the front piece and the back piece and then you basically make the back and the front touch. I hope this makes sense. The back and the front touch. And then you sew the lining on the inside. Now what I'm going to do is pause. Take a deep breath. Relax my shoulders. I can feel them up to my ears. So relax my shoulders. With trying anything new, I think it's so important just to be aware of your body and like if you're tensing up, it makes the whole process a lot more stressful when and when you're just being aware of how your body and your breathing, it makes it a lot easier and you're able to flow through it more and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to flow. So that side is done and now I'm going to move on to the other side. Okay, that was the first run through of the skirt. I think it looks so good. Look at those clean edges. Now I'm gonna try it on just to make sure the sizing is good. That's why also I wanted to keep the buttons that if the skirt is too tight, this fabric isn't really forgiving, so the buttons help with like putting it on and taking it off and so on and so forth. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I think it looks so good. Of course, the fit will be different when I'm not wearing jeans under. But what I'm gonna do now is um, clean up the. T I'm gonna clean up the top. So what I'm gonna do is fold it in like this, hem it, make sure it looks perfect, and then also I'm going to add this elastic band across the waist. So or maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe actually scratch that. She don't need no elastic because I realize how am I going to unbutton this. Well, how am I going to unbutton it anyway? Well, anyway, with the hem, I'm actually just going to unbutton it like this. Ooh. Ooh. Also, people who are asking about my skin, they may notice these little dots and, like, my arms have, like, little spots. Your girl got eczema, so... That's what it is. Please don't get concerned. My mom was like, I thought you like fell off something and like hurt yourself. Nope. It's just my human suit that doesn't want to work with me. So that's what it is. Don't be alarmed. Okay, so yes, what I'm going to do is fold the top of the fabric and basically just sew a line across so that the top is clean. Simple, easy. We got this filming on my phone now because y'all know my camera's messed up. I don't know why I don't, I keep forgetting to buy a new battery for it. So please bear with me. Thank you for your patience. Next thing to tackle is this pink turtleneck. I want to crop it and do some bedazzly work on it. Scar gets really shy on camera. Scarly! <laughs> She's laying on my iPad. Okay, so yes. First, I'm going to try, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. 
first I'm going to try this on to see how it fits and then I'm going to figure out where to crop it from there. Okay, so here's what the sweater looks like on. I apologize if it's dark. It's a gloomy day today, but it's okay. We're working with it. So this is what it looks like. It is pretty snug like I was hoping, so I don't think I need to even do the elastic band to hold the material in. And now I'm just trying to figure out how cropped I want it. I think I'm going to do it like about this short. What I also like to do when I figure out how much I want to crop it is measuring tape. This is so useful. Um, so I want to go about, this is like four inches and make sure, even though you want it this cropped, make sure you cut an inch below so that it leaves room for the hem. So four inches is what we're gonna go with. So what I'm doing now is just pinning the hem down. If you're a beginner at sewing, I feel like this, or not even a beginner, like doesn't even matter. It just makes it so much easier to sew a straight line and ensure that all the fabric that you're trying to sew basically stays in place. I also find this part like kind of therapeutic because you're just sitting there and just doing some idle work that you can just be present with and enjoy your time. I think that's why I love being creative because it just allows you to be present with like the work that you're making. And especially if you're making something for yourself rather than like trying to make something for others, like you can just relax and enjoy the art that you're creating. So at least that's my thought process when I go, when I'm, I'm pinning. And also during doing this, I love listening to podcasts and like listening to music. That's why I also want to get into, on top of all my other hobbies, I want to get into rug making. I don't even have TikTok, but everyone's like, on TikTok, everyone's making rugs. But I always just love finding something new to try and create and just like other art forms that, I don't know just to get involved in because what better way to spend your time than creating art in my personal opinion been kind of tricky honestly navigating this year so far um i know everyone had all these expectations and like thought that we would be the free of the binds of 2020 going into this new year when that's not necessarily the case um but i've been trying to just reprogram the narratives in my head into more positive thinking because trigger warning here i'm someone that battles with depression and suicidal thoughts and not necessarily in the context of like i want to you know end it but more so in the thought process that death just seems so much easier than existing sometimes um and I know I am very you know like privileged to have like a roof over my head and um food on the table and everything but life is still hard you know and so I'm also not trying it's like it's so weird because I feel like I'm trying to find a balance between hyper fixating on uh, my mental health and also just trying to live my life not thinking about it too much and not trying to put so much meaning in things that just just are I don't know I feel like I search so much of like why am I here or like basically get very existential all day of my life <laughs> um and not trying too much to put so much meaning towards everything and just like taking things for what they are like there doesn't always need to be a reason for things and things just happen i was listening to this podcast actually by bobo i know if you follow me on instagram you know i freaking love her um she also does a podcast called bobo and flex which i always talk about all the time but she has one on her by herself called bobo's void and this episode that I was listening to was, is life worth living? And 
the guy that she was interviewing was essentially saying it's not even necessarily about looking at the silver lining it's appreciating that there's even a cloud there and just finding the awe in this existence not even just like about always wanting to be positive always wanting things to happen in your life and just being so grateful that we even get to experience this existence because when you're not here anymore you don't ever get this whether you believe in heaven or not heaven's even just a constant and at least in human life at least you get to experience the ups and downs i don't know scarlet that's been helping me at least so i finished pinning the top and now i'm just going to run it through the sewing machine and finish her up and get her ready for bedazzling <laughs> turn this thing on it's on still and while I was bedazzling or at least like putting the stones down I just hear a pop, like a spark and I was like what the heck so I turned it off and then I turned it back on and now it's like not even getting hot so I think we're not gonna be bedazzling today okay Hawkins I only spent all my time laying this out but like this should be like I shouldn't even be able to touch it like at all so maybe don't buy this one from Amazon <laughs> hey y'all it is actually the next day after my bedazzler shorted and sparked it actually did not work at all so she's bedazzless but it's still super cute but i did want to come on to show you all my full outfit including the flannel two-piece set that i made in addition to the cropped turtleneck so here she is and of course you know i had to pair it with the black boots here let me set it up a little bit more so you can see the whole fit i am so happy with how it turned out and i'm just so super jazzed that you know i put this together myself you know i was so intimidated with sewing and i did it so she's cute it gives me super daphne vibes from like scooby-doo and that clueless energy that i wanted to encapsulate with this outfit i love it so <laughs> That was definitely the smoke alarm in my apartment. Don't worry, my great grandma is making me punts it for my birthday, so that explains that. As you can see, the chaotic lifestyle just doesn't stop and it's obviously reflecting my videos, but thank you all so much for rocking with me. It really means the world. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button for my B day. She's 24, living, evolving, growing, thriving, and I'm just so excited to see the woman that I become in this next chapter of my life. So thank you all so, so much for being here. I genuinely appreciate your presence and your energy. I truly, truly mean that when I say that. Let me know what you think of my outfit down below, and if you end up recreating this, please tag me in it. I would love to see it. Sending you all love, light, and good energy sending you so much so much positive vibes right now i know it can be difficult and 2021 wasn't what is off to a rocky start but we're hanging in there we're staying strong so i love you all and if you want to see me outside of these videos be sure to catch me on ig at selena ray casa to see the full on fit in action you know i'm gonna have to do it up you know with the lighting with the photos and all that so be sure to check me out on ig but until next time i'll see you all in my next video bye Good thing in my mind, see if the you step out Get some in now, let your edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you